In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the dryer and just dry from any direction to uh, dry your inks and alcohol solution. I usually hold the dryer two fingers away from the part where I'm drying and hold it perpendicular to the paper to dry it. But in this one, I will be drying from any direction, any angle. It's just to show you how to get started with the dryer. The first thing we do is put alcohol anywhere on the paper, fill the entire surface with alcohol ideally, put a few drops of different colors of inks. Here I'm using yellow pinata and green by pinata. The objective right now is just to understand how to use your dryer so don't worry so much uh, about where, what is happening on the paper just use a few colors of inks and get started i've also used a little bit of blue so three colors and you will see that they will all merge because i am not trying to follow any plan i'm just drying it from any angle any direction from the top from the side so any place where your ink is not going you can either use a brush or your finger just like me to <laughs> take it over there so just dry it and understand how your dryer works this little exercise will help you uh, get a better control of your dryer and figure out how to use it and at what angle to use it to get nice um, effects and lines this is also a very very quick way to create a background for any of your art so if you want to do a foreground with acrylic colors or you want to lift some of the colors to create something in the foreground you can easily do it like this i create this kind of background for making my roses really quickly so i make a background like this and then make roses on top of this so just dry the entire thing from any direction, any angle. You get a nice background. It could be used directly as an art or you can do something on top of it. I'm going to spray on it a little bit because I like those small droplets of, what, uh, of alcohol on top of my work. So that's how it looks. So do try it and enjoy.